Ido, pal, we've been together a long time. But this is where we say goodbye. I just can't see you suffering no more. So long, partner. to bed down for the night. Coyotes. Thought I'd scared them off yesterday. Come on, you varmints. Let's get a good look at you. Don't come back, you bastards! Somewhere warm to sleep. When the stage gets here tomorrow, you gotta be fresh and strong. Forty miles from here to Lasseter. Jesus H. Christ! You don't do anything stupid now, you hear? Sure. I'd ask you gentlemen to put all your money on the counter. Sure. Now! Move it! Keep your powder dry, Jim. You. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. What you looking at, little boy? Ah! Damn it, come on! Yeah, here's this you wanted to. Oh, what are you yeah. looking at? Fetch you on the way if you know what's good for you. Lord. For 
works like hell, but I'll live. Grabbed him, Doc. Oh, gee, they got Ben Colbert. It's a damn shame. The bullet's gone clean through. Did you see who it was? No, but one of them said, you got to keep your powder dry, Jeb. Has to be the Norton brothers. Not jump to any conclusions, Lord. There's more than Jeb in these parts. I got a cousin, Jeb, in Denver. And your brother's name's Jeb, ain't it, Lloyd? I'm telling you, it was them. They robbed five banks already this year. It's only a matter of time till they hit mine. Well, looks like they're headed north. There's a good chance they'll bump into the coach. The one Jake's on? Yeah. I'll take you down to my office. They were riding hard. They're gonna need fresh horses soon. Only one place I'll find them. Palm Flats. Is that wedding ring new? Um, me and Jake just got married in Durango four days ago. We've only known each other three weeks. Uh, I was attending a trial. Jake's um, Jeff the Marshal Lasseter. First day in town, met Sarah, we got talking, and well, here we are. You must be some talker, mister. And now I'm Mrs. Jake Norman. I have a weakness for pretty rings. Is that Mexican silver? Yes, indeed. My husband gave it to me as a present the day we opened the Golden Garter in Leadville. You run a saloon? Dan said they'd look after me. Your husband must be a very generous man. Excuse me, Mr. Norman. Jake. You can call me Jake. Jake. Uh, I'm a reporter. You seem a little young for a newspaper man, Mr. Henry Lester of the London Times. I'm writing a series of articles about the Wild West. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions about being a deputy marshal. If you... Sure. Right, here we go. How many men have you shot? <coughs> Put the book away, Henry. Jake's still on his honeymoon. Have you uh, ever visited uh, Lassiter? It ain't much more than a one-horse town. And they shot that horse 20 years ago. Jake tells me it's a wonderful place to set up home. Do you believe everything he tells you? Well, Sarah or me don't have any secrets. Do we, darling? Will your husband be meeting you in Denver? Dan died three years ago. But I still call myself Mrs. Marie Cooper. And I miss him every day. Sorry. We had 11 years together. It's more than some. Sorry, folks! Hey, Yancy! You told me you had the most comfortable stages in the West! Well, we do, Jake, but this here ain't one of them. <laughs> Hold hot. Go. Can you see him yet? You think I'm blind? I don't know. Stage line don't pay me to stop for no cowboy down in his lap. Well, you got me to stop, stranger. State your business. My name's Calhoun, and I'd like to board your stage. If there's room. Where's your horse? Broke his leg yesterday. Did you shoot him? No, I wrestled him to the ground and beat him to death. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to be disrespectful, especially when you got a shotgun pointed at you. Apologies, gentlemen. Where are you headed? Well, we're going to Pine Flats in a couple hours, get fresh horses, and then uh, on to Denver. Denver, huh? Yeah, I've never been there. Well, you want to put that right? Fair six dollars. Dick, you want to charge him for Would you shut up? I'll give you one dollar now in good faith and the rest when you get me to Denver. Whoa.
All right. Sling your stuff up on top. Get yourself inside. Name's Calhoun, and I'd appreciate your holstering those guns. Where are you from, Calhoun? Well, I'll tell you, bud. You'd never have heard of it. Next up, Pan Flat. raise you four. <laughs> Beat that. Show me what you got. Full house. Ahiga, you're a low-down cheating snake. If you were a man, I'd cut your heart out, you half-breed bitch. If you were a man, you wouldn't cheat at cards, you skunk breath toad. And your wife told me you were a lousy lover. Not again. A teeny! A teeny! <laughs> Causing trouble again, Black Deer. Join me for a drink, Marshal? There's a saloon down the street. I prefer to do my drinking in here. And you're gambling. And you're fighting. Joni Loomis, don't mind, do you, Joni? I've always been willing to do business with the Indians. That may be so. But I don't want to catch you serving that girl whiskey again. <laughs> hey, what are you, my father? You got no right talking to me like that. I got every right. What the hell's got into you today, Wade? I just got back from telling Jenny Corbett she's a widow. You got any coffee on the stove? Coffee? Yeah. I'll bring you a cup. Bring me the pot. And two cups. Coming right up. Navajo hate coffee. Prefer fire water. Heap good. <laughs> Guess you heard about the robbery. Yeah, everyone's saying it was the Nortons. Yeah. No one's willing to form a posse. Drink it, all of it. Loomis, where'd you find this coffee? Up the rear end of a buffalo? I said drink it. I need your help, Black Deer. I'll pay you $10. And a bottle of whiskey. All right. Until those outlaws are behind bars, coffee's the only thing you'd be drinking. What do you say? I'll give it some consideration. Well, don't wait too long. I'm telling them riding out soon. Then I need to tell you about the dream vision I had last night. Been a while since you bore me about one of those. An evil Navajo spirit. A creature that kills in the light of the blood moon. Ye now to she. Skinwalker? It's just legend. It's more than legend, Wade. They're real. And they're out there. I don't suppose you've ever seen one. Well, would you believe me if I said I had? A skinwalker is a Navajo warrior, banished from their tribe for learning the forbidden secret of shape-shifting into goddamn it, Wade, you're looking at me like I've been chewing peyote. The time of the blood moon is almost upon us, when skinwalkers are at their strongest. Heed my warning. Delay your search for a few days. 
and you got your personal beliefs. But I got my duties to perform. Shit, I'll ride out alone. I'll be in your office in an hour, ready to ride out. You got any silver bullets? On my wage? Hell no. Why? It's a question that needed to be asked. Welcome to Mud Flats. <laughs> Uh, Pine Flats, so stop in here for a couple hours. I wish it was a couple days. My backside sore as hell. Charlie! Charlie, be fixing some biscuits. Coffee, please of mine, too. Hey, save me some of them biscuits. I'm gonna deal with the horses. <clears throat> oh, I'll uh, wait out here if you don't mind. I, I've never been inside a saloon in my life. Oh, no, there ain't been a saloon here since the silver mine closed down. Everybody left town. Oh, uh, I assumed that the townspeople were all in church. <laughs> Pine Flat citizens weren't the church going kind, if you get my meaning. Our drunken miners and saloon gals really are. Some of them girls are real pretty. It's like a ghost town. Not quite. Charlie Packard stayed on working for the stage line. Oh, yeah, sure it is. Got himself a room upstairs. Got it nice and cozy, too. Cozy isn't a word I'd use to describe this place. Uh, maybe just needs a woman's touch. Yeah. A woman with a box of dynamite. Charlie, the old coot, losing his mind. Left the lamps on in the middle of the daytime. Charlie! You got customers down here? Maybe he's out back. He still should have heard us. That doorway lead outside? Yeah, through the kitchen. Shall I take a look, Crawl? No, no. Uh, you best keep the preacher in the ladies company. What's going on, Jake? Nothing, darling. Just stay here. out. Charlie? What's left of him? I guess we'll be making our own coffee. What in God's name did that? God was looking the other way when this happened. The liver's been torn out. And how is it that you know about livers and such? Hmm? You a doctor? Grizzly? No, this ain't from a grizzly. You familiar with engine legends? Sure, I heard of a few. Now, wait a minute. You name me one critic capable of doing that. Had to be a wolf pack. Now, that figures. Yep, when they get hungry, they get real vicious. Real clever, too. Then leave one paw print behind. Best get the old man buried. Well, Charlie keeps, uh, kept. Tools uh, upstairs in the storeroom. Found to be a spade or something. It's 
hospital loaded. Didn't get a chance to fire what came after him. It had to be a wolf pack, right? Well, I'd be mighty relieved if it was. Can he tell you what happened to Charlie? Not in great detail, no. Was it a, an accident? Hardly. Indians. Most likely a wolf pack. Might they still be around? I'd like to take a look at the body before it's interred. I wouldn't advise that if I were you. Oh, but it would add so much more color to my articles. Henry, the only color you'll find out there is bright red. Well, better get Glenn from the livery. Well, that'll be a good time to say a few words, preacher. Yes, of course. Most of us here didn't know. Uh, Charlie Packham. Ch Charlie Packham, but uh, Yancey and Glenn tell me he was a decent fellow who uh, provided sustenance for weary preacher. I thought I saw someone standing by a tree. Stay at West long enough, you see Jesus Christ himself. Playing a guitar and cussing like a cowhound on payday. Nevertheless, I saw. As I was saying, Charlie was a decent. <laughs> Calhoun? Do what my brother told you! Well, nothing comes to mind. Oh, now! I said drop it, didn't I? I didn't see you drop your gun, son. Ain't got a gun. Is that right? What's your name, boy? Henry Lester. Henry. Come here. Come here. I want you to go around, get everybody's weapon, including the stage drivers and his pal. And yeah. you don't do nothing to make me want to shoot you now, you hear me? Yes, sir. Maybe we should introduce ourselves. I'm Hank Norton. This here's my half-brother, Jeff. If you heard of us, you're gonna know what we're capable of. Back shooting innocent people, mostly. What's your name, cowboy? Calhoun. We met someplace? No. I think I'd remember the smell. This is nice. And we're gonna have to watch you. 
because you're a smart mouth asshole. Okay, everybody inside. Move it. Henry, you hold on real tight to those now. Okay, Jim, bring them in. Right, move it up. I said move it up. Get over here. What you looking at? You are a sop with sore eyes, ain't that the truth? You bastard. Oh. Oh. You wanna play with me? Let no one call me a bastard, seeing as I never knew my old man. Jake don't even let me call him a bastard. Last time I did, he put a pickaxe through my chest. I still got the 10 inch scar here to prove it. <laughs> Cause when I get riled, there ain't no limit to what I'm capable of. When I want something. I just takes it. You got something else to say to me? Huh? Looky here. We got ourselves a lawman. Shoot him! Please don't shoot him! And the girl! I ain't shooting her. I got plans for her. Norton, you kill me, the law will hunt you down and make sure you both hang. And if I pull this trigger out here, your sweet little wife, she's gonna be a widow. Know what you say about that? I'd say you wouldn't act so tough if I had a gun. Is that right? Well, take one of mine. Come on, we'll have a shootout right here. Come on, take it! Take it, I said! How about giving me the gun? What'd you say? You. No, I reckon you might be trouble. Me? No, I'm no trouble to anyone. Jesus Christ, Jeb, pull the trigger, shoot somebody. I'm not sure where I'm gonna kill you now. Let you watch me have some fun for your missus. Lawman, why don't you go hide behind your wife's petticoats? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Norton, these, these guns are getting very, very heavy. Listen, Henry, why don't you take those guns and stick them in a barrel outside? Come straight back, you understand? Go and get them. Move it! Whose funeral is this, anyway? Old time I ran this place for the stage line. Got his throat torn out by something. What kind of something? Oh, we ain't exactly sure. A grizzly? No, ain't been no grizzlies in these parts for nine, ten years. Well, how about old Mose? There you go, talking the damn fool again. Well, he's supposed to be ten foot tall, weigh 1,500 pounds, and I heard he killed those bulls with one blow. Old Mose does his hunting up in Fremont County. It's two, three hundred miles from here. Maybe he learned to ride a mule. What is your name? Mrs. Marie Cooper. And yours must be horse's ass, because you surely smell like one. You open your goddamn mouth again, I'm gonna put a bullet in it. Henry, come sit over here. If it weren't a bear that killed that old timer, then what done it? Well, something strong enough to tear out his liver. My wife needs water. She gonna have to wait. <coughs> Look at her. Jeb. <coughs> Watch her. I got it. Maybe it was a wolverine. 
I heard of one once that bit right through a trapper's arm and then ran off with it. Or whatever it was, it's got a taste for human meat. Probably watching us right now. No accounting for taste. Cowboy, go stand next to the post over there. Lawman, you join him. Go ahead. Miss Cooper, why don't you go see if you can find some rope? Tie him up to that post. Tie him tight, do it now. You see something out there? Ain't nothing to see. Jeb, why don't you head out back into the kitchen, see if the old man kept some guns back there? I'm busy. Go on. I said I'm busy. Don't make me tell you again, boy. God damn it. This good enough? Time up. Sorry about this. Better make him tight. Quit talking! No guns, and I've locked the back door. Why don't you head out to the kitchen, see if you can rustle up some nittles. Me and my brother need to eat before we leave. Jeb. Jeb. Jeb! What? Get over here. Keep an eye on these two. What is it you saw around there? Forget it. You finished? Nearly. Where the hell you learned to tie a knot like that? Any cowboy gets fresh in my saloon. I string him up. Hung 27 just this year. You should call in for a drink. I have enough protection. White ash, prepared by my father. Not a whole magic, huh? Listen, if a skinwalker shot in the heart with a silver bullet, it might appear to die. White ash sends it to the land of the dead. If you say so. But Rawlins don't stock silver bullets, so that stuff ain't gonna help much. We'll see. Wait, listen, on the way over here, I had another vision. Oh, yeah? They're coming in thick and fast, aren't they? Listen to me. I saw you and me under the blood moon, and death was reaching out to both of us. Yeah, those Nortons are pretty handy with guns. You know damn well I'm not talking about the Nortons. Look, the sun's gonna go down in a couple of hours. You afraid of the dark? Hell no. Nor me. But it is a wise man who fears what might be hiding in the dark. Yeah. God damn it. Hey, lady. Give me another cup. If you want more coffee, Mr. Norton, you're gonna need more water. Henry. Yes, sir. See that silver bucket in the corner? Yes, sir. Go fill it up with water from the butt outside. And Henry, you come back through that door with anything in your hand except in that bucket, you're a dead man. Hey, 
cowboy. You ever been to Wichita? Well, not that I recall. Me and Jeb come across a gunslinger in Wichita about six or seven years ago. Can't say I remember his name, but you sure look like him. Now you come to mention him. He do. Well, I look like a lot of people. He could draw, shoot a man, and holster his gun before he even had time to take a breath. I heard he was a preacher who left the church on account of his family got murdered by bushwhackers. And he was so angry with God that he offered up his mortal soul to the devil himself to get revenge. And old Satan, well, he made him the fastest gunslinger in the West. And he hunted down them bushwhackers. And he killed them. One by one. Just how fast are you, Calhoun? What makes you think I am fast? I don't know. Something, though. Well, there's an easy way to find out. I'm Tommy. Give me a pistol and you'll have your answer. Before you have time to take a breath. Son of a bitch, Henry! Come here. Get your hands off me. Give me that. Two horses stopped here three hours ago. They covered the tracks with earth and leaves to confuse us. Norton's? Has to be. Oh. You all right? Yeah, I'm just a little dizzy. Uh, when was the last time you ate? Uh, uh, I caught a rabbit for breakfast. Killed it, skinned it, ate it. Uh, you missed out, cooked it. Did I? They took this trail. OK, look, uh, if you're sick, I understand. You can turn around. I can do this trail alone. You? You couldn't find your ass in the dark, even if it was on fire. You think so, huh? Mm hmm I think I could surprise you. How long you gonna be? Couple of minutes. What's she doing? She has a name. Sarah's just made your coffee. We'll be on through in a minute. With your food, too. <laughs> I don't know shit about cooking. But I do know you take sharp knives for cutting. Sugar? Three. Me and Jeb each. Make sure you... Hank, what in the hell was that? I'm gonna look outside. Can't go out there? Hey, what's wrong with you?
Hey, Calhoun, you really reckon that's what killed the old timer? Yeah. What'd you just say? A skinwalker, Hank. Skinwalker? Ain't no such thing. Oh, I ain't got there and prove us wrong. Hank, you can't go out there. Shut up! Henry, you know, you really should write about the skinwalkers in your newspaper. It would make your readers' hair stand on end. Even those bald Englishmen you got over there. I... Shut up! We heard enough! Keep talking, lawman. Maybe Jeb will realize it's all horse shit. A couple of years back, there was this skinwalker living in these parts. Went around eating Indians and cowboys and cattle rustlers. Oh, yeah? Took seven Navajo braves to kill it. And in its gut, they found the bodies of five of the most honorary outlaws that ever robbed a bank. All chewed up to hell. Is that right? Well, the fellow who told me swore it was. Maybe there is an Indian running around who thinks she's a wolf. But if he's out there, I'm gonna blow him to kingdom come. Only thing will kill a skinwalker is a silver bullet through the heart. Calhoun, shut your face! Or I'll put a bullet through your head, and it won't need to be a silver one. Get it while it's hot. You're still alive to eat it. If I come back, and I'm tall, dark, and hairy, shoot. Because it ain't me. Hank? Come here, goddammit! Open the door! Come on! Jesus Christ, what? Gotta get out of here. What? The body time back is gone. Take a look at this. A Bible. All chewed up. Jesus Christ, Hank, what are we gonna do? Stick to the plan. We're gonna head south. Can I? So, you boys are thinking of heading down to Mexico? Lots of pretty senoritas there. 
And they love gringos. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Well, I never had a Mexican woman before. Ain't you? No. I had Salem girls and farmer's daughters. I even had a preacher's wife once. And they all look the same to me when they're bare-ass naked and I can see their titties. Although, some do look prettier than others. Just how much time we got, Hank? We got enough. I take the young one first. That ain't fair. I'm the eldest. It's my right. I ain't arguing. This one's mine. <laughs> Are you saying that you prefer her to a real woman? Lady, what are you doing? Well, Hank, I'm just saying that what I got here, well, it's just as juicy as a girl at 21. I can't concentrate on this if you're still holding her. <laughs> Sit down. Is this how you like it, Jeb? Nice and slow? What about you, Hank? Sure. I'm still gonna beat the ever-loving shit out of you. Hola, uh, Mr. Hank Norton. You're just a romantic old fool, ain't you? <laughs> when I get back to London, my editor will not believe the things I've seen. I hope that includes me, darling. I think it does. Henry, go outside and get them guns brought in here. Are you sure that's wise, Mrs. Norton? secret when you run a saloon <gasps> not too close well sometimes you just gots to entertain the boys <laughs> and other times <gasps> mr. Norton <clears throat> you gotta surprise him yeah, hey! ah! oh! We need to move. It's Henry! Henry, I'm coming! Henry! Jesus. Henry. Go 
much you don't come over the roof. Skinwalker's real. Uh huh. Darnest thing I ever saw. <laughs> ever used a gun? No. No. I want you to go to the kitchen and lock the door. Mm. If that thing breaks in, I want you to aim this at its head and pull the trigger. Understand? Jake is still up there. Yeah, I can hear it. Sarah, okay? Cut some. Norton saved a life. I reckon he was mostly thinking about his own. He tied up? Yeah, Sarah's watching him. You found something? That blood trail. Well, when an animal's hurt, it goes to where it feels safest. It'll be back.
We better be moving on soon. It's prime flats. That's where you think the Norton brothers are headed. You've been real quiet for the last hour. You talked enough for the both of us. After your fight with the Higa, he called you an Antahini. That means witch. In my tribe, a witch cures sickness with plants and herbs, nothing more. Nice no, tribe black, dear. A skinwalker don't necessarily have to be a witch. But a Navajo witch is always a skinwalker. Some of us are only part skinwalker. But if the beast within is too strong, I turn into something half human, half skinwalker. Hated and hunted by both. That white ass you got. It's to protect yourself. Marshall Wade Norman. Why did you have to be so damn clever? I preferred you when you were as a dumbass. So it's true. Now I know why you drink so much. The gunsmith had three silver bullets in stock. Stagecoach driver? Oh, I rode shotgun a while over in Kansas. I've never been to Kansas myself. I was born in Chicago. My parents moved me out west when I was nine. Met my cousin Wade in Denver. And he took me south down to Lassiter, where he lives now. He taught me all about law enforcement. I was made deputy when I was 17 years old. You always stayed the right side of the law. Calhoun. Yeah. I said, have you always stayed the right side of the law? I've done some bad things to survive. Got blood on my hands, but none of it innocent. Stay vigilant, Jake. My arm's on fire. Uh-oh. I think it might be broke. You ain't gonna give me a cup of that? Strong coffee can go straight to the head. And after I saved your life... No. Before that thing turned up, you and your brother would have had me on this stinking floor and laughed while you did it. You probably would have murdered us all, too. So don't you dare talk about saving my life. You murdering outlaw scum. And I seen right through you to the bare bone. <laughs> I may be a piece of murder and outlaw scum, but I've been places. Nowhere that sold soap, obviously. <laughs> I've had me a bath or two in my day. 
when I was visiting whorehouses in Wichita and Dodge. I bet the girls there loved your company. Innocent young girls. Don't know how to handle a knife. Cut a man's throat. On account of they be shaking with nerves. But a common whore. She knows how to use a blade. For her own protection. I don't mind you. That I'm the wife of Lester's deputy marshal. You marry a common whore. Sure. If you fit in some bullshit story about how you come from a fine family back east and pretended to be a sweet young virgin. I knew I was right. If you say anything to my husband, you but your unwashed ass to this innocent little lady <laughs> will happily cut off your fucking balls and fry them in bacon fat. Now, I reckon you just might. He annoying you? No. He's gonna cause us any more trouble. Ready to roll? Jake's keeping a lookout. I'll take this out to Jake. Hey, preacher. Wanna know where me and my brother Jeb hid the bank money we took this afternoon? Set me free. And I'll divvy it with you 50 50. Norton, as far as I'm concerned, your blood money should stay buried until hell freezes over. Glad you think that way, Calhoun. Let's get aboard. Will you stop that spitting? <laughs> the horses. I swear I left the brake on. You did, I checked. The horses are gone, too. He's one devious bastard, ain't he? Uh, you show me a knife for a flesh eating critter, Wayne. Someone spooked the horses. Rattlesnake, maybe. No, it was my fault. The brake wasn't left on. Or mine. You don't have to lie, Calhoun. It's clear the skinwalker did this. Norton. <laughs> We're gonna need more light. Well, there's more lamps in the livery stable. I got this. Jake. Lock the door behind us. You're gonna die! So what are our chances? Depends if we can hold out until stage line comes through tomorrow. Then we better pray it ain't delayed. It's an interesting choice of words. You a religious man. I've been known to go to church.
If anything happens to me, I'd appreciate you saying a prayer over my grave. Anyone in particular? Shortest one you can find. I get bored real easy. Remember, just a prayer. No hymns. Reckon I can get a handle on most men, but truth be told, Calhoun, you're a solid go puzzle to me. Better watch out for that mule that's been hanging around. I reckon it gives one hell of a kick. Ready? Hey, Calhoun, I found your mule. come with you. You're a very brave lady. I'm a very frightened one. I'll never forgive myself for bringing you all the way. I promise I'm going to get us out of here. You better. I want to see this one horse town of yours. Lovebirds. We'd better get back before Norton spits himself to death. Well, sounds like you folks are having a hell of a party out there. <laughs> Surprised to see y'all in one piece. I'm touched by your concern. Better get some alcohol in that. Wound ain't gonna clean itself, Jake. I'll keep first watch. <laughs> gonna be a long night.
any sign? Nope. You mind if I ask you a question? Not if it's why the hell did you bring such a pretty girl to this godforsaken place? Yeah, something like that. When Sarah agreed to marry me, I did consider staying on in Durango. Maybe taking a deputy's job down there. She wanted to get away from the place. Make a fresh start. So here we are. Yeah, wherever here is. coming in for the kill. I want you two back here. No. I want to fight with you. More guns the better. Oh. Second time that's happened. I meant to get it fixed. Is this genuine? Some of them are. Hey, you don't think. Well, we'll see. I have to hit it directly in the heart. My dad said these would look after me. If that works, I'll eat my head. Well, if it doesn't work, Skinwalker will eat it for you. How are you going to get a clean shot at it? Norton's going to be our bait.
he breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. He's alive. Is he okay? No, this man's dead. You know what that thing is? Yeah, I've seen one before. Shot saved a silver bullet. You all right? Wade's here, he saved me. Wade, good to see you. The silver rings in that shotgun there. You understand? Skim walk was down. What about Marie? Calhoun? That his name? Don't call for an undertaker just yet. We thought you were dead. Oh, I got other plans. Where is it? <laughs> Hand me that shotgun. Marie? Jesus, Wade, what happened to your neck? I think we've all had an interest tonight. Ain't over yet. Yeah, peace. I don't deserve to be. Don't you believe in redemption? That our past sins can be forgiven? Sure he does. And so do I. Name is Calhoun. Marshal Wade Norman. Jake's cousin. Found the stage a couple miles back. That's Hank Norton. What's left of him? Where the Jeb's out back. Fact is, there's more dead folks around here than live ones. Uh, there's a $500 award in the Norton brothers' heads. Alive or dead. Uh, there's a lady in there didn't make it. She's the one who took down Jeb Norton. I want her buried right. That'd be my reward. I'll see to it. Hey, wait, how about you take me and my new wife home to Lassiter? Of course, cousin. Unless you changed your mind. If you two ever have youngins, I sure like to be there when you tell them how you spent your honeymoon. You got any plans, Kyle? No, I'll be moving on. It's a real shame. Lassiter needs another deputy. Pays $20 a month, right? Or can he be worth 30? Is that an offer you might consider? I got me a job lined up down in Santa Clara. What could you possibly find to do in Santa Clara? Well, the sheriff's asked me to deal with some varmints causing big trouble. What kind of varmints? 
Oh, red-eyed demons, six-inch claws, bat swings, and a bad attitude. Well, I guess you'll need your prayer book back. Keep it. Hey, Calhoun, where'd you say you were from again? I tell you, bud, you never have heard of it. <laughs>